All right, Luke, what is this? Front brakes 2.0? 2.3. 2.3? 2.3, it has been a revision or two of all. All right, so we did these brakes last year about 3,000 miles ago, but they sent me two different calipers. I wasn't really happy with it. Rotors. Or, did I say calipers? I meant rotors. They sent me two rotors, and I really wasn't happy with it. So they sent me two matching rotors, but I also got new pads, new retainer clips, new pins, because we broke a pin, because these weren't looped. So we're going to... Cause. Replace them. This is going to be a quicker, shorter video oh, because last right. time we ran into a lot of problems. Lord, Lord. You want me to pound this bitch out? Yeah. One second. Yeah. This hammer's too much. This hammer's too much, Bob. Yeah. That's too much, Bob. That one better? Yeah. Okay. Oh, gee, look at that. Huh, it's almost like, you know, it was properly maintained. Wow, look at that. Ooh, what a thunk. So two pins. Take these out first. We had to put heat on this last one. Oh, look at that. Did we use a round one last time? Uh, kind of. Yeah, it's going. Too. I mean, it's moving though. That's way well, better than last to, time. I just had to tap it just lightly. Hey, look at that. Would you look at it? Yeah. Would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? Or would you so, just look at it? These pins came out a lot easier. Last time we had such a bad time getting them out. So you're gonna need what? Technically. A 13 or a 12? Nope, you don't even take that one out, Mark. Let's hold the caliper together. We don't even have to take it. Oh that's yeah, that's right. No, man. Or because we don't have to take that out, I believe. Or no, you we do have to take that yeah, out. Because, you do have to take that out because otherwise the pads Yeah. That's how you get the pads out from the top, but they don't come out the bottom. That's correct. You are right. Yeah, so is that a 12, 13? What is it? Uh, I don't know. That's a good question. We're going to find out. There's one that's out. Uh, 12. So like with the last one, with the with the rear side, we have new retainer clips. Oh, I take that back. It's 13 I lied. So retainer clips, some really nice ceramic pads, new pins, So Luke, what did you just do there? Um, I grabbed a way longer bolt, threaded it into here on this guy, and tappy tap tapped away so that way I didn't mess this up. I didn't mess up the bolt we have to reuse, and it saves the threads in here as well. What's next? Move the rest of the way out. <laughs> yeah, that's good. This guy, we're gonna apply never seize on there and I seize. We're also gonna clean these holes out too. Just a little bit of a file just to clean up all the corrosion. Perks of uh, living in the rust belt. Oh my god, I love living here, but I, I hate it. I love hate it. What size to take off the uh, caliper? Uh, I'm gonna see if my eye chronometer was right. 21. 21, 21 to take off. 21 millimeter to take it off. This should be really fast, like really fast to put the top on. You will run into problems if you live in a crappy climate like we do. So, prevent take the, the take, take the ABS wire out of the brake hose so you don't mess that up. Push 
pistons back in with our $13 spread tool. Go buy one. I'm gonna pause. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you spreading? I'm gonna I'm gonna push pistons back in. So that, way, that way we can get the new brake pads in. Look how dirty that is just from winter. When did we do these brakes? 3,000 miles maybe? Maybe, maybe four-ish. Yeah. Tops. 4,000 miles. And you don't put that many miles on it? Yeah, I wasn't gonna use new, uh, used brake pads. I just wanna go new, so give, well, me, give me self a if piece you're, of mind. If you're replacing your brake pads, you're replacing your rotors. If you're replacing your rotors, you should replace your brake pads. Absolutely. Make sure they bed in properly. Too many pistons, I don't like it. Six pistons. Pretty damn cool. Hi, Luke. Hi. And if you did that right, Everything should be slippery, slippery. That'll happen. Yay. All right. Look at all them pistons. There's so many of them. So many pistons. Six pistons. Break clean. Break, Break clean. clean. Let's clean this up. Clean it up. We're going to find a spot to do. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. All right. Great cleaning. Great cleaning. Great cleaning. Okay. Make sure it says front passenger side. That's kind of important. Unless you're just doing a lot of high speed reverse braking. <laughs> you're doing a lot of high speed reverse braking, just flip them around. I'm gonna put that lug nut on there so don't flop. Flopping bad. No floppiness. So, I like floppiness. I had an instructor when I was in college for uh, computer literacy. Somehow that's actually a class. And he was... Computer illiteracy? No, literacy. Illiteracy. Yeah, something like that. And he had a very heavy accent. And none of us could keep a straight face when he said floppy disks. Because it came out <laughs> sounding like a lot of something else. A floppy we'll disk. Yes, floppy disk. Floppy disk. So we're going to clean it. <laughs> That's what she said. Legitimately. I don't think it actually matters. So what I'm doing now, throwing the uh, caliper bolts back on. We're going to give those uh, torque to spec. I think it's about two other nuggets. Two other nuggets. All right. Time, for Time for some uh, new brick of pads. Ah, uh, bit nice. It's nice, yes. Break pad one. Break a pad one or break a pad two. Break a pad two. We're gonna clean up just a little bit of corrosion in this guy as well. To aid in reassembly and disassembly next Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Double double pad. Oh, they're so cool. Happy days. Alright. Break a pad? Alright, break a pad. I put in? I put in. I put in. Put in. Put in. Put in. I love food. Me too. Break a pad. Big old. Big old break a pad. Alright. Let's go. 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 Goes up and over this Oh, we got new ones. Okay, we have new ones. Listen, I went to public school. I said we got new ones. Yeah, I didn't go to school. School's for losers. 
No, I legitimately never went to school. They kind of look different, but whatever. They do look different. They, uh, they definitely look a little bit different. Hi, Ben, kid. Yeah, baby. And we're going to put some uh, anices on it to make sure she comes out next time we need to do break. She came out pretty good this time. Very, very important to do this stuff when you're doing, uh, when you live up in a crappy weather state with salt. Yeah, if you live anywhere cool. with, uh, with salt on the roads in the winter seasons. You say winter sneezes? Sneezes. The winter sneezes. Let me have one. Let me have this clip right here. You got the other clip? Yeah. I think so. Break room. I'll break room you. <laughs> All right, break room. Snug. Snug. That's it. Yeah. Don't break it. Don't over torque that. You want to be able to get it out. Here, you do this. Do me do this? You, do. you don't want to get all covered in slime, don't you? I don't care about that. I just want to see how you did it because I don't really, I mean, I could do this stuff. Nice to have a friend that can help you with a lift. We're friends, right, Luke? Yeah. Aww. You said this way? Yeah. Yeah, that went that way. So this guy. Oof. No hammer? I don't have a hammer, but I see many things that can be used as a hammer. <laughs> Absolutely. Look at that little tappy pad. No tappy pad. No, no, not that thing. Oh. There you go. Oh, look at that. Yeah, you can put the clip in afterwards, right? On this one, you can't. Oh, so you have to This one, clip's got to go in before because the, this jabber goes up and over. Ah! I see you said the blind man. Like that, and then this side will end up like that. I will lube this one up for you. I want to I wanna spread the lube all over it. Mm -hmm. Good. So nice. Move. <laughs> Punch you in the head. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> Give me that. We're gonna push the clippy guy down. Like so. This is the fun part. It's always the fun part. Put pressure on it. Oh yeah, put that in there. You're doing good. Oh yeah. Looks good. Put that pin in that hole. There you go. This guy over here is wearing a white helmet today. I'm supervisor. Yeah. Making sure that you're doing it correctly. Whoa, well, don't even I hear that out of you. Just making sure you're doing your job right. It's always the guy that doesn't do the job that supervises the job. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. See, we're getting two birds stoned at once. Yeah. Time to, time to do. Oh, get it. Yeah. Got a scent. Flushy, flush, flush, flushy, flushy, flushy. flushy. All right, that wraps up with the brakes for the front. That's uh, that's the quick and dirty. It's pretty easy. It doesn't take rocket do. appliances to figure this stuff out. Some denial of error. Lots of denial, lots of error. Yeah, but like this brake job went a lot smoother because we lubed the pins, lubed the pin, lubed the pin. You don't want this stuff to seize next time you gotta take this shit off. If you look at the recommended maintenance for your vehicle, they tell you to lube those pins every six to twelve months, six thousand miles, six months. And we understand not everyone's gonna do that, but at least once a year. I'd pull them off once a year, right after winter. If you live in a place with salt, clean all this up. You'll you'll thank yourself later. Absolutely, thank yourself later. All right, over and out. <laughs>